Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. We have a quick Design and Technology GCSE type question here. Um, could also be really for engineering, GCSE engineering. Um, it says look at the list of materials below. So we've got a list of materials here and it just says select a material from the list to complete the following statements. So we've got um, one, two, three, four, five statements and we've got um, extra kind of materials. So. Um, we've got bronze, GRP, aluminium, high-speed steel, cast iron, ABS, concrete, glass, nylon, tungsten, carbide. Now, these are all materials that if you're revising, I would recommend that you know. Okay, because these are kind of group of materials that, that come up in the exam, probably more than other materials. So these are common materials to know and useful to know. Um, so if we say the first one, a ferrous metal. So we've got a ferrous metal and we can say cast iron okay so we've got a cast iron frying pan there a ferrous metal is a metal that contains iron we could have also put high speed steel there because that also contains iron so we had a choice of two there an alloy and we can say that bronze is an alloy now bronze is a non-ferrous alloy and we'll look at that a little bit in a minute um, a ceramic so the ceramic here is tungsten carbide. So we can say tung Now ceramics don't come up as often but I have seen GCSE questions with them in. Um, then we need a composite material. Remember a composite material is um, a material composite means two parts so um, we've got GRP. GRP stands for glass reinforced plastic and it is actually a polymer reinforced with glass strands so that is the composite material. Um, next one a polymer so the polymer is ABS. ABS is a polymer um, I think Lego is made of ABS, so it is a durable, um, um, quite a durable polymer plastic, ABS. So we've got the answers there. Cast iron is a ferrous metal, bronze is an alloy, tungsten carbide is a ceramic, GRP is a composite, ABS is a polymer. And as I say, it's useful to know kind of one of those in each category, to have those to take into the exam with you. And last of all, explain using one example what is a non-ferrous alloy. So um, we can say a non-ferrous alloy. It says three marks, so we need to write kind of a sentence in a bit, or have a couple of points, is a mixture of two materials one of which is a metal now what I've done there is I've given the definition of just an alloy so the definition of alloy f uh, is a mixture of two metals which, uh, one of which is a metal and then we can add which does not contain iron. And then for our example, I think that would be two marks. And for our example, we can say brass is a non-ferrous alloy of copper and zinc you probably wouldn't have to add that's probably a bit icing on the cake copper and zinc but if you just said brass is a non-ferrous alloy because it does say using one example so that would be the three marks so we've got five marks and three marks there so there is just a GCSE type question on different materials thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology.